What does classroom management depend on? Classroom management is an important part of every classroom lesson. Due to the classroom complex dynamics having this skill is important to maintain discipline, to have an organized lesson, to create a friendly and positive environment to nurture the student's learning. Lesson Plan As part of classroom management, maintaining discipline is important to ensure the class is effective and goes according to the plan in order to achieve the lesson's goal. There are plenty of ways to maintain discipline inside the classroom. The first thing to consider when dealing with bad behavior or disciplinary problem is to act immediately as this will prevent a problem from getting worse. During the lesson, eye contact and body gestures like eye contact can be used to maintain control or signal to the student about a behavioral problem that is unwanted. If the bad behavior still continues within the classroom, then changing the classroom dynamics could be effective in order to solve the issue. It is essential to point out that the behavior is the main issue and not the actual student. This may help the student realize such behavior is unwanted and the problem could correct itself. Understanding what causes problems Disciplinary issues may arise from a variety of different reasons such as family problems, low self-esteem, boredom, peer pressure or lack of respect for the teacher and other students. There are some guidelines to avoid these problems. Above all be professional and don't let personal emotions such as frustration, anger or prefer treatment towards favorite students to impact decisions. The classroom environment needs to be fair and fun. The teacher should show care and enthusiasm towards teaching and establishing rapport with the students. Classroom Environment Classroom arrangement is a key part of classroom management in terms of student seating. The seating arrangement is part of the classroom dynamic. There are different seating arrangements that have a place in a classroom such as U-shape or traditional rows, which in turn depends on factors like class size, personalities, and space. With seating arrangements, it's a very useful tool to maintain control but also to organize activities such as pair or group work which then leads to rapport building between students and the teacher. If there is an issue, the seating arrangement can be changed. Furthermore, with control of seating arrangement, a teacher can sit together strong and weak students in order to balance out their level and to build rapport and a safety net for the weak students. Rapport Establishing rapport is essential in order to create a positive and friendly environment that the students and teacher can enjoy. Therefore, the teacher should always make sure to know all the students' name and some basic information and make sure all the students likewise do so. That way, they are comfortable to address each other and can also use that basic information about each other for future activities. It also helps to have an icebreaker activity at the beginning of the course. Another way to build rapport is by having a pair or group work while making sure to switch the pair or members of the group. Personalizing activities or some other materials is another way to build rapport and also to build interest. Are you ready to become a TEFL teacher? Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today.